good morning the today's topic is the first one delayed fruit ripening you know the ripening in plants are promoted by a hormone ethylene and there is an enzyme polygalacturonase that break down the structural polysaccharide pectin in the wall of plant and leads to softening of the tissues in the process of making flavor savor tomato this is a genetically modified tomato in the process of making flavor savor tomato ripening is slowed by blocking or reducing ethylene production this is done by introducing ethylene forming genes in such a way that they will stop the production of ethylene itself let us see here this is normal mrna production leading to the production of pg and that leading to the rooting of tomato what we do we take same gene and they are introduced in a such a way that they will produce a special rna and these two rna forms a hybrid rna and thus we can reduce the production of pg and thus we can reduce the ripening of tomato now this technology is known as anti sense mrna anti sense mrna are produced by introducing genes after rotating 180 degree suppose this is a gene for production of a particular protein this gene is introduced in the same genome by rotating 180 degree what will happen normal gene hoga uske sathe sath the other gene hoga same gene ki copy hoga which is rotated 180 degree this gene uh, rna this gene rna they form hybrid and this hybrid will slow down the translation process thereby slow down the expression of gene this technology is known as anti sense mrna technology the tomatoes only have 10 percentage of normal amount of enzyme thus delaying the ethylene production male sterile plants important to prevent unnecessary pollination and to eliminate the process of emasculation emasculation is manually removing pollen so to avoid emasculation and to avoid unnecessary pollination in hybrid plants male sterility is required male sterile plants are created by introducing a bacterial gene from bacillus amylolycophaceans code for a barnes these are the tissues known as tapetum and these tapetal cells are actually producing pollen if we introduce the barnes gene along with a promoter tapetal specific promoter ta29 and that plant tapetal cells will get destroyed or the tapetal cells will not get matured and thus we can stop the production of pollen this picture well explained the process of male sterility you know this is normal plant they have normal tapetum and inside that we can see pollen when we introduce the gene barnes along with tapetal specific promoter those genetically engineered plant will not produce pollen because this barnes enzyme will destruct the rna in tapetum thereby tapetum is completely get destroyed whereas we can restore this male fertility by introducing another gene barstar with the ta29 this tapetal specific barstar will block the action of barnes and thus the normal activity restored we introduce barnes to stop production of tapetum to the same plan if you do genetic engineering with barstar we can restore the normal tapetum development